Let's talk about something I am so effing excited about. I know a lot of people aren't because of the person, the individual, but I was actually thinking about this the morning it released. I had no clue it was happening. I had my fingers crossed, but here it is. Mel Gibson to direct Lethal Weapon 5, coming from The Hollywood Reporter. The move comes after the project was put in limbo when director Richard Donner who helmed all the weapon movies since their inception in 1987 died in July. And if you're asking me, yeah, Richard Donner, his passing, it's, it's still tough. It's still tough. His contributions to Hollywood, his friendships, his stories and everything. I mean, the man is a Hollywood legend, but in regards to Mel Gibson, taking and picking up where Donner left off with Lethal Weapon 5, because Richard Donner very much wanted to do this. Here's what Mel Gibson had to say. This comes directly from Gibson, um, according to London's The Sun, which covered the event, an event that Gibson attended. Gibson said Donner was developing the screenplay, and he got pretty far along with it. And he said to me one day, listen, kid, if I kick the bucket, you will do it. And I said, shut up. He did indeed pass away, but he did ask me to do it. And at the time, I didn't say anything. He said to his wife and to the studio and the producer, so I will be directing the fifth one. There it is. Mel Gibson will be directing Lethal Weapon 5. Danny Glover will presumably return as Roger Murtaugh. Mel Gibson serving as director and coming back as Martin Riggs. Look, we're in a time where we're getting Indiana Jones 5 with an 80-year-old Harrison Ford. I don't want to hear it, okay? First off, Mel Gibson isn't just any director, okay? We're talking about the director of Braveheart, the director of Passion of the Christ, Apocalypto, Hacksaw Ridge. He is one of the greatest directors of all time, Mel Gibson. Say what you will about Mel Gibson as a person. I'm not defending that. As a man, he's a piece of shit. He is. But as a filmmaker, especially for something like Lethal Weapon 5, there's something beautiful about Mel Gibson finishing what Richard Donner started. Richard Donner was very much a friend of Mel Gibson. Okay, so again, pause on all your uh, opinions about Mel Gibson as a person. Okay, Richard Donner loved Mel Gibson, respected him. And Mel Gibson isn't just going to make some, uh, I don't know, some, you know, popcorn action flick. I mean, there's definitely going to be some fun. But when you have Mel Gibson behind the camera, I'm expecting a little more than the ordinary for Lethal Weapon 5. Now, here's what I think is going to happen. In regards to the story, I think they're going to make Danny Glover's Roger Murtaugh the captain and Mel Gibson as Martin Riggs will still be out there and um, trying to, you know, do his thing and whatnot. But uh, it's going to be kind of a. um, uh, How to put it the same way what they try to do with bad boys for life, you know, where. um you know, he's not what he used to be. He can still do the job, but him struggling to, you know, come to terms with, you're not that guy anymore. You're you're just, you're not. And they touched on it in Lead the Weapon 4, uh, starring uh, Jet Li. Um, Speaking of which, I hope to see uh, Joe Pesci back. We just saw him in Irishman, so he's not retired. I mean, I would love for him to come back, especially if Donner had him in the script. Joe Pesci, I would love to see Chris Rock back. I'm a fan of Chris Rock and Lethal Weapon 4. I actually, I, I really enjoy Lethal Weapon 4. For me, it's it's one, two, barely, and then four. I, I Two is great, but I, I, I love four. Let me know your uh, Lethal Weapon uh, films ranking. But... um. I'll be talking more about this on Phantom United Live on Friday uh, with Keith because Keith is a big uh, Lethal Weapon uh, fan. And uh, yeah, love this. Mel Gibson directing Lethal Weapon 5. I 
prayed. I'm praying it happens. Come on. Why not? One more time. Roger Murtaugh, Martin Riggs. Yeah, they're old. One more time on the big screen. Why not? I, I'd be there opening night. 